Okay, so it's time for another Life in the UK test. As ever, you have 24 multiple choice questions, of which you must get at least 18 out of 24 questions correct in order to pass. Everything we cover in this video is also covered in the Life in the UK test handbook. The link is available in the description for Amazon. Question 1. Who opens the new parliamentary session each year? Is it the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Prime Minister, the Speaker of the House of Commons, or the Monarch? And the answer is D, it's the Monarch. The Queen opens the new parliamentary session each year. Um, this year she was unable to attend due to mobility issues, so the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, um, opened the new parliamentary session this year, but it is ordinarily um, the Monarch. Question 2. Is the statement below true or false? During the 18th century, radical new ideas about politics, philosophy and science were developed. It's called the Enlightenment, and that's true. Yes, so um, the, the, the Enlightenment um, happened during the 18th century, uh, and that was radical new ideas about politics, philosophy and science. Question 3. Is the statement below true or false? The UK has a declining elderly population. So that's false. Um, the UK actually has a huge elderly population that's only growing. Um, it's going to be a huge problem in the future um, because there might not be anyone to look after them, of course, if, if your uh, elderly population grows too large and the number of elderly people outstrips the number of young people to look after them. Um, so that, that is going to be a, a, big, a big future, a big um, issue going, going forward in the UK. Question four. What two values are upheld by the Commonwealth Association of Countries? A. Democracy B. Communism C. Violence D. Rule of Law um, So the answers to this one are A and D. Uh, the Commonwealth Association of Countries upheld democracy and rule of law. Question 5. Which of the following statements is correct? Halloween is a modern American festival that has recently become popular in the UK. Or B. Halloween has its roots in an ancient pagan festival marking the beginning of winter. And the answer is B. It does have its roots in an ancient pagan festival which marks the beginning of winter. Question 6. Which two of the following were famous Victorians? Isambard Kingdom Brunel, Margaret Thatcher, Dylan Thomas, Florence Nightingale. Um, so the answers here are A. Isambard Kingdom Brunel, who was a very famous uh, engineer during the Victorian period, and Florence Nightingale, who is associated with modern nursing. Um, so the answers are A and D. Question 7. Which countries does Great Britain refer to? Just England? England, Scotland and Wales? England and Scotland? Or England, Scotland and Northern Ireland? Uh, so the answer here is B. It's England, Scotland and Wales. Northern Ireland is not included in what we call Great Britain. It only refers to England, Scotland and Wales. But the UK, the United Kingdom as a whole, does of course include Northern Ireland. Is the statement below true or false? Forcing another person to marry is a criminal offence in the UK. That's true. Uh, it is against the law to force anyone to marry somebody against their will in the UK. Question 9. Which of the following statements is correct? A. The first professional UK football clubs were formed in the late 19th century. Or B. The first professional UK football clubs were formed in 1066. And the answer is A. The first professional football clubs were formed in the late 19th century. Uh, the battle, um, the Norman invasion happened in 1066, so it's not, it's not big. Question 10. What were two important aspects of the Reform Act of 1832? It decreased the power of the monarch. It increased the number of people who could vote. It abolished rotten boroughs. Or it gave women the vote. Um, so the answer here is B and C. It increased the number of people who could vote. It also abolished rotten boroughs. Now rotten boroughs um, were boroughs or constituencies that either didn't exist or had um, very, very few constituents. Um, so they were got, gotten rid of um, in 1832 under the, the Reform Act. Um, and B, it increased the number of people who could actually vote in the elections as well. 
Question 11. Is the statement below true or false? Emmeline Pankhurst is famous for her leadership of the campaign to give women the vote in parliamentary elections in the UK. That is, of course, true. Emmeline Pankhurst is famous for her leadership of the suffragettes, um, which was the campaign to give women the vote in parliamentary elections. Question 12. Which two people are famous UK sports stars? A. Sir Chris Hoy B. Dane Kelly Holmes C. Lucian Freud D. Jane Austen It's of course A and B um, Both are, are British Olympians um, Lucian Freud was a famous psychologist and Jane Austen was of course um, a famous writer Question 13 For approximately how many years did the Romans stay in this country? 50 years 100 years 400 years or 600 years and the answer is 400 years um, that the Romans were in the UK for. Question 14. Which of the following statements is correct? Members of Parliament are elected through a system called First Past the Post or MPs are elected through a system called Winner Takes It All. Um, it's A, uh, First Past the Post. Um, and where that comes from is in horse racing, the first horse past the post is the horse that wins the race. Um, and that's what we apply to our politics. So first past the post, the, the, the uh, party with the most votes um, will win the election in any given constituency. Question 15. Is the statement below true or false? The 40 days before Easter are known as Lent. That is true. Question 16. Is the statement below true or false? The swinging 60s is associated with the 1860s. That's false. The swinging 60s um, are associated actually with the 1960s, which was a generation or, uh, or a time in Britain um, that great cultural change happened um, where there was sort of a liberalisation um, of customs and norms in the UK. Question 17. Which two of the following are major outdoor music festivals? Royal Ascot, Isle of Wight Festival, Hogmanay or Glastonbury? And the answer is B and, and D, sorry, B and D. So it's the Isle of Wight Festival and of course the world famous Glastonbury Festival which happens every summer in Glastonbury. Question 18. Where did the Vikings come from? Was it Germany and Austria? Belgium and Holland? Denmark and Norway or France and Luxembourg and the answer is C Denmark and Norway question 19 which of the following statements is correct Sake Dean Mohammed is famous for introducing tea drinking and bungalows to England um, from India or B Sake Dean Mohammed introduced curry houses and shampooing to Britain from India, it is B. He did open the first curry house in Britain. Question 20. Which two principles are included in the European Convention on Human Rights? Is it the pro prohibition of slavery and forced labour? Freedom of thought, conscience and religion? The right to use violence if you think it's necessary? Or freedom to leave work early every Friday, if only. No, it is A and B. It's the prohibition of slavery and forced labour and the freedom of thought, conscience and religion. Question 21. St Andrew is the patron saint of which country? England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland? And the answer is B, Scotland. Question 22. Is the following statement true or false? There is no place in British society for extremism or intolerance. And the answer, unsurprisingly, is true. Question 23. Which of the following statements is correct? The public can attend debates in the House of Commons. Or B. No member of the public is allowed to attend debates in the House of Commons. And the answer is A. You can indeed attend debates in the House of Commons. I think you need to contact your MP first um, and they will sort all of that out for you. So you can go to the House of Commons and attend a debate. Question 24. By joining a political party, what two activities might you be involved in? Violent clashes with other political parties. Joining your MP for sessions in the House of Commons. Handing out leaflets in the street. 
or knocking on people's doors and asking for support and the answer is C and D, handing out leaflets in the street or indeed knocking on people's door and asking for their support in the election. Now don't worry if you found any of those questions difficult, the Life in the UK test is notoriously hard to pass, but we do have lots of free practice tests and resources over on our website at liveintheuk.co.uk and if you consistently practice, you'll be applying for your British passport in no time. Now if you did find this video helpful, please do like, subscribe and ring the bell for new videos every week. And as I said before, you can visit our website liveintheuk.co.uk for free practice tests 